we're going to do a step by step uh, angelfish hatching, angelfish egg hatching artificially, how we do it in our hatchery. Uh, we get a lot of requests for this, so we're going to put this together. Hopefully, it helps a lot of people out. Um, we're going to show you this step one. Um, step one is obviously pulling the slate um, that the eggs are laid on out of the parent tank and getting it into a one gallon jar. Uh, now you can see the, our one gallon jars are submerged partially um, in a smaller in a smaller tank. Uh, the smaller tank is set at 82 degrees and what we do is we fill up a jar of 82 degree tap water. Leave the chlorine in. Um, the chlorine is helpful at this point and kills bacteria and the chlorine is not going to harm the eggs. Uh, so immediately once we have an 82 uh, degree jar of water we take our slate, take it out of the parent tank, walk it over, and plop it in this jar. Don't worry about the eggs being in the air. Uh, the air is not going to hurt them unless you hang it out in front of a fan and let the eggs dry. Uh, just walking it across the room and plopping it in this jar is not going to hurt anything. Um, inside of the jar, then we have from our central air system or from an air pump, um, we have uh, just an air stone on a small flexible piece. Um, and then about a 12 inch piece of uh, rigid airline just hooked up to our airline and we put that basically on the opposite side of the jar that the eggs are on we don't um, really bubble our uh, bubbles right on the egg now we pulled this slate about 24 hours ago you can see we've got like four or five um, white eggs in about a 600 egg spawn um, I've come to be able to estimate that, but it's roughly 600 eggs. Um, obviously we label everything so we know what things are. Now as soon as we take that over and we've got it in there and it's bubbling and everything is set to 82 degrees, we want to go ahead and use a dropper and add uh, 10 drops of our hydrogen peroxide to this jar. It just helps keep things sterile, keeps the bacteria down. We don't use any methylene blue in our hatchery, we never use uh, acroflavin. Um, any of those other things we've found have uh, given us really poor results. Um, and that's with our water, you may have different results with your water. So what we're about to do now, we're 24 hours in. Um, in the next video we're going to show you step two, uh, really a short step. Um, we're going to do a basically 100% water change on this hatching jar. We're going to get an entirely new jar, uh, we're going to put it right next to this one, we're going to get it bubbling and uh, again leave the chlorine in it um, and we're going to then switch just basically plop this out and plop it in a new jar and we do that at basically exactly 24 hours after we harvest the slate from the parents and uh, that's going to be step two in our little video series here so uh, stay tuned and uh, keep watching